Hi guys, this is Tom. In last week's video, I built a device to bottom balance my lithium ion cells that I have behind me here for my electric car, which raised a lot of questions. So in this week's video, we're going to address a couple of those questions. First off, what is bottom balancing? And second, why you should do it if you're building an electric car. Okay, to answer those questions, I'm using a discharge curve for a Calb CA series 40 amp hour cell as an example for the discussion. Okay, you can see here I've, I've hand drawn this, so uh, I apologize for the unprofessionalism here, but um, on the left I have the voltage and uh, I got 2.5 down here and I go up in tenths, so it's 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, all the way to 3.8 on the scale. And then down across the bottom I have the capacity or amp hours of the cell and again it was a 40 amp hour cell so I've drawn the capacity out past 40 amps uh, to 45 because uh, calb cells uh, usually have uh, more than 10 percent or so um, amp hours than advertised. This is the discharge curve. It starts up here at uh, a little bit over 3.4, call it 3.45, very close to it, and goes steeply down for just the very first one or two amp hours, and then it goes in a very flat line all the way out to 30 amp hours, and then it starts a little steeper decline, and then at about 3.5 one volts right in this area and uh, right at the 40 amp hours it takes a dive and we call this area right here the knee and then it goes straight on down to zero now if you recall in the video be, uh, previous last week I, I set my relay to engage down to or energize down to 2.5 volt and then it would de-energize uh, letting the load off the cell and then it would bounce up to around uh, we had it set at 2.8 volt and then it would re-energize and drive it down to 2.5 and repeat and you would let this happen until finally it just wouldn't reach 2.8 volt now that may take you know there may come a point in time where it takes you know two three maybe even four hours before it would finally creep up and hit 2.8 again and then it would re-energize and take us a little bit more current out of it uh, down to 2.5 again and then de-energize and bounce back up so what would finally happen is is that the uh, the voltage would come to rest somewhere you know between two point you know seven eight or two point seven nine volt and it wouldn't quite make it to two point eight again so now now that I explained the chart there and what we're doing, uh, I'll say it's important to note that with all the technology we have available to us today in manufacturing, no two given cells will have identical capacities. It's important also to remember there are two ways to kill a lithium ion cell. One is overcharging and the other is over discharging. So, so when we take several cells and put them together and make one big battery, in the case of our Honda Civic build, we're using 96 individual cells. So it's imperative that they all be balanced. Balanced meaning they are all at the same state of charge. Since a lithium cell has a very flat discharge curve, the only way to balance them is on either side of the cycle. In other words, the top here or the bottom. Picking a point in the middle won't work because there's no point at which you can reference the voltage to the state of charge in the flat section. 
I choose to balance on the bottom for one simple reason. I want all the cells to run out of energy at the same moment. It is very important that the cells all run out of energy at the same time because if they don't and one or more cells go over the knee here before the majority of the rest of the battery pack does, the stronger cells will continue to drive the current through the weaker cells and drive them straight through to zero volts and in fact reverse the current in the weaker cells and kill them dead. Once a cell reaches zero volts it is dead and cannot be recovered and in fact it becomes a safety concern. So by using our bottom balance device we're able to get all the cells to plus or minus say 0.05 volts or even better at a set point over the knee. So if for some reason the battery pack gets run completely down, say you leave the lights on or say you don't drive it for a very long period of time and, and there's a meter that runs constantly in it and draws just a couple milliamps over a long period of time it'll deplete the entire pack or just say you're a plain idiot and drive the car until it won't move anymore no single cell if they're balanced in the pack will be driven down to zero volts and that's why I think bottom balancing is really imperative in order to protect the investment of the batteries alright I hope everybody understands bottom balancing just a little bit better and the reasons for doing it the battery pack in our EV is the single most expensive purchase item in it and bottom balancing helps us protect our investment so stay tuned for more videos about the Honda Civic EV thanks for watching take it easy